morning guys so i realized i didn't actually start the vlog properly for this week and i can only apologize i also look like a hot mess because i'm spending the day editing and didn't want to get dressed or anything so this is what i look like in real life most of the time but i wanted to quickly mention what we were doing on saturday so we basically were gifted so i basically got gifted a trip to the cauldron which is basically a pub in london which is like inspired by all things wizardry and you basically go in and you get i think it's like 35 pound a person ish i can't remember the exact price but you get two cocktails each and <clears throat> you get like a magic wand and you get to like make potions and stuff and it's really really good fun they have loads of little interactive bits and the people who work there are all super super fun as well and they just make the whole experience so much better so these clips coming up are basically from that but i didn't explain it in the actual vlog because i think i thought i did i don't really know but i didn't explain it so here is the clips from the cauldron and the rest of the weekly vlog so we have our little wand here me and sam have to share a wand and we're basically at our table and you pick a few potions that you want and you basically get to make a few different ones so i think we said we're going to go to the main menu there's basically like two different menus where it's our entire special one um but we're going to go to the other one because you can do one that comes in an hour glass and one that comes in the cauldron and it's really, really cool. So we've just had our welcome drink, which is here, and it comes out of a really cool thing. When we get to New York, I want to go to the New York one. Yeah, there's a few around the world. We'll talk about it after. But there's a few different versions. Like, like Sam said, there's a New York one. There's also a few in like, different parts of the world. So... so
frankly absurd. Here he comes, finalement, all right. So my friends, proper execution of a fireball in three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Loser. There we are. Okay, so we've just got back from the cauldron and I have to admit, I am absolutely soaked. So for some reason or another, we went in and it was fine and we came out and it was like, look, look at this. My hair was straight when we walked in. Now it is very questionably not straight, but um, basically, yeah, there's a massive storm this weekend again and we got caught in it on the way home. So we are very disheveled, but um, we are about to go sit upstairs and sort out some work bits because obviously I haven't been here all week. Sam has been doing various bits and pieces, but he's also still got work to do. So we're gonna go sit in the office and put some music on and just work through today. And then tonight we're gonna make some nachos and watch Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone because where we've just done the potion class, we were like, oh, I really wanna watch Harry Potter. Like, I haven't seen it in ages. So that is the plan. Um, I'm gonna go sit and do some eBaying. So when you see this vlog, there should be some listed potentially. I basically put as much as I can up in one go and list it for seven days. But I will be putting it on my Instagram stories whenever I put stuff live. So keep tabs on my Instagram stories and you'll find out as soon as I list stuff. Then if you want anything, you can buy it. Um, there is quite a lot of beauty bits up at the moment which have got I think about three hours left So just waiting for all of those to sell and then I can go send them to the post office tomorrow um, But yeah, basically I need to get rid of a lot of stuff in the next couple of weeks and huh, It's gonna be a big ordeal. So that's basically the plan for the afternoon. I am if this is slightly merry We did have a lot of cocktails. You actually get three cocktails at the masterclass one is I think I had one rum base, one gin base, and then the last rum one we had was really strong. And then we basically were having a chat with the couple who were opposite us, and they were really lovely, and they bought us shots, and the four of us did a shot together at the end, and the rum one was very, very strong. So, feeling it ever so slightly. But yeah, I'm gonna go sit upstairs and do this. I don't know how much I'll film. The dressing gown is going on, because let's be honest, when am I not in a dressing gown? I am always in a dressing gown. I live in them, literally live in them. So, that is the plan for the afternoon, is to go sort through my cupboards upstairs and get rid of absolutely everything that I do not wear, will not wear, or doesn't fit, or whatever it might be, and put it all into one corner so that I can start selling it on and clear out some stuff. Oh my god, I can see workers on a roof over in the distance. I thought they were statues and they're workers. They're in like high vis on top of like a seven story building. Okay, help me. <laughs> this is a pile of returns at the bottom for stuff that didn't fit from my Zara haul and a Topshop short blah, 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 and a Topshop order that doesn't fit as well. Then I've got stuff on top that needs to be sold. I've got stuff here that I'm keeping. This is stuff that's being sold. This is stuff that's being sold. This is stuff that I'm just currently trying to sort and that's come out of the cupboard. Basically, basically, I'm trying to sort as much as I can. Basically trying to sort through as much as I can so I can list as much as I can so I'd rather get it up sooner than later and Get everything sold because I want some space back to be completely honest um, But I'm being ruthless. I'm literally going through and I'm like do I need to keep this festival jacket? That I may potentially wear once a year for the rest of my life or I may never wear again And I'm just getting rid of it because to be completely honest I'm probably never gonna wear it again And I'm probably never gonna wear the bum bags again because I don't like bum bags and the only place I'd wear them is Disney but so we're having a nacho evening. So I've got my lacto-free, Sam's got his normal, and we're just watching Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Movie having night in. Day. We are indeed. Good little night in. So yeah, we're just gonna nibble this. That is a lot for two people. <laughs> but we couldn't. I wanted normal cheese, even though I shouldn't have lactose. Jess wanted her lacto-free cheese, so we made two lots. Compromise. Rather than having half a bag each, because it wasn't that much, we just cooked two, because if we're gonna open them, we might as well just cook them. So <laughs> a lot of nachos. Okay, good afternoon. So it's a few hours later and Sam and I have just got to the Grosvenor House Marriott Hotel and we are staying here for the night and it's honestly stunning. So I wanna give you a quick room tour because we are staying in one of the executive suites and I want to show you what it's like because obviously executive suites are pretty bougie and it's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna give you a little tour and then after this, I'm gonna insert a few clips of when we were going around like other parts of the hotel. So we went and saw one of the royal suites. We saw um, like the Grand Hall and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put all that in afterwards and I'll like label it so you can see what's what. But the basis of this hotel is that it's all on like mindfulness. So there's a quiet room, there's little mindful moments. So basically you can go to certain parts of the hotel. I think she said it's mainly the quiet room and you can have like meditation and stuff. There's also a big fitness center here, which is absolutely humongous, but 
stupid me bought my gym kit and not my gym trainer so I might use it I might not I might just I might do like an arm workout or something or something I can do in my converse or to be honest we're just off Oxford Street so I could actually just go and get some trainers from some but yeah I'll give you a little tour Sam's doing one at the moment so I'll do it after him so this is the view from the door. You've got this gigantic hallway which leads through to the living room which I'll show you in a second. And then through here you just have the bathroom which I actually love because this is one of the rare bathrooms that you actually get a view of outside because obviously a lot of hotels don't actually have natural light. Oh, how do I open it? Oh, that's closed. There we go. So you have a privacy screen behind but it lets a lot of natural light in. Then you've got the big mirror here, you've got the toilet and stuff down there. You've got these really gorgeous Bulgari products which I'm very excited about because I think me and Sam might have baths later. And then you've obviously got your water and stuff. And then here is the tub with the shower over the top which is such a beautiful little space. I kind of love the fact you've got the side of the bath as well so you can put little glasses of wine or whatever. And then coming back through here, you have the bedroom. So there's a little vanity area here with a little mirror. You've got two wardrobes, which I think Sam said are identical. Um, TV unit in the middle, which is gorgeous dark wood. There is actually mindful stuff playing, because like I said, it's a very mindful hotel. So this is kind of like showing you different ways to stretch and work out and move your body. You've got a chair over here. You've got the beautifully large bed. I love beds that are this big. Like I could lie across that and still have space. There's a little chair on the end of the bed there. Then you've got this view over Hyde Park over there. And it's very pretty. Then coming back through, I'll just take you out. The AC is very loud. Then coming back through here, you've just got the little table here in the hallway. That is an adjoining door. So is that one to next door because if a family stays, they can come between the rooms without having to leave the room. Then this is the kind of living area here, which is absolutely huge. So you've just got the sofa area here, you've got the desk area there, and then obviously the television is in the unit here, and I'm guessing this is the mini bar. I haven't really looked, but yeah, there we go. Oh, Galaxy Hot Chocolate, this is my kind of thing. I love Galaxy Hot Chocolate. And then you've got some little treats down there, and then also the little mini fridge with all the drinks and stuff in here. So you've got like Fuji, Fiji water, you've got some um, champagnes, you've got some orange juices, there's a little carton of milk, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got your little glasses up here for all of that. And then turning around, this is our little setup. So they've actually asked which spirits we like and Sam and I picked some spirits and this is basically Sam's ones. He's got a little whiskey, I've got a little gin and we're going to make some little gin and tonics and some whiskies in a second I think. But this is so cute. They've left us a little note as well just saying like explore away, enjoy your stay. I can't wait to sit and watch TV later here because it's such a gorgeous space. Good morning guys. Oh I've got a hair that's like really annoyingly across my face. You know when you can feel it but you can't find it. Anyway, it's the morning and Sam and I had a really nice chilled night in so he had a bath that was like an hour long and while he was in the bath I was just cracking on with editing the vlog because last week's weekly didn't go up on Sunday just because I literally hadn't had time to edit where I'd been away and obviously I wanted to make sure I got it up for you so I sat and edited it last night for the most part and it's a long one. I've realised that I used to be the person who barely vlogged anything and didn't have enough for a vlog and now I'm the person who has like 20 to 50 minute <laughs> vlogs but I think it's a good thing because if I'm watching a vlog in the morning or like just having it on the background I quite like them to be long so I think it's a good thing breakfast has just turned up Sam's just taking some pictures of it so I'm gonna go and join him and get some food because we ordered a lot but I ordered a lot because I thought rather have a lot of breakfast than not enough of breakfast and then we can always take pastries and stuff back with us if we want to but I got the one that's called healthy start which is like an egg white omelet and some granola and some yogurt and then a little muffin. Sam got some buttermilk pancakes and eggs and soldiers. Nice Yummy, there's so much food. I'm now dressed. I'm wearing this blazer, which I got in the H&M sale for about £25. And then I've also got these trousers, which I think were about £25 as well. But we're going to go out and try and shoot some pictures. So I need to shoot one campaign outside for Converse. I then need to come in and shoot one in the bar. And then I need to change and then shoot another one when we leave because I've got quite a few little bits to get done. But we're going to go down and get that done now. We've had quite a productive morning taking pictures and stuff, so I think we've nearly got everything that we needed to get for all the different bits. We just need to get this done. We're actually meeting Lucy and Lydia for dinner, which is going to be really nice because we haven't seen them in ages and the four of us are going to go to the IV, have a few cocktails, have some dinner, have a little chat, have a little drink. Um, good morning. It's actually afternoon, but it's the next day. 
and Sam and I are both home from various meetings. So I've actually just been for a blow dry with GHD and annoyingly, it's really stormy outside. So by the time I got home, my blow dry is a bit ruined. So it's now like a lot more kind of dropped and loose than it was, but it was really nice at beachy waves and now it's kind of deflated a bit, but I still really love it. And they also kindly gifted me one of the new hair dryers, which is called the Helios and it is amazing. So that's what they actually use to do all the blow dries. And it comes in three colorways, which I'll show you what I got in a moment. But I got the white and copper one or white and gold. Then there's also a burgundy and then there's a black as well. So really, really nice, but I'm very excited because I actually needed a new hair dryer and also perfect for kind of switching up my whole hair care stuff because I have my really old GHDs, my really old hair dryers. It's nice to just like revamp completely and get all new tools because they definitely needed replacing. I feel like I'm on a roll. I've just filmed two videos and I'm about to sit down and film a third, but I'm gonna make a coffee first because I just need some hydration in my life. And I mean hydration, I've literally got water set in front of me, but I want some coffee as well. Um, and yeah, I feel really productive. I filmed two videos, like I said. So I've done two different bag unboxings. There's my vintage one and my new Marc Jacobs one, which both will be up. Don't know if they'll be up before this video or after, we'll see. But I'm basically going to try and spend a few of like my days just editing videos because I realised I have a lot backed up and a lot filmed, but I keep filming new videos and not editing the ones I've got done. So I need to sit down and get them done. I need to film a couple more actually. Like I've got like a Gymshark try on one that I want to do. I've got a River Island one. I've got a H&M haul. Like there's a few different bits and pieces going on that I need to film. So it's just actually also getting the time to put them up because it's so hard like two videos a week is great but sometimes I like really want to do more than that because I have so many ideas and things and I just want to do more but I'm gonna sit down and export these videos Sam and I have put bang bang cauliflower in the oven which so I think Sam said he got it from Aldi and it was like 80p but it's basically a bag of cauliflower that's like spiced and if you've ever been to Wagamama's or anything they do like the best bang bang cauliflower it's basically just spicy like garlicky amazing cauliflower so we're gonna have that i'm gonna put in a bit of quinoa rice as well and that's gonna be my lunch um oh i realized earlier my camera died when i was talking about the hairdryer it's right in front of me so i'm gonna show you it i'm also gonna show you the mess so this is what you see when i film this nice little corner but what you don't see is like all of the crap that's all over our office and the fact that there's like rails and stuff everywhere like it literally is a war zone when i film in here because there's just stuff everywhere and i managed to make it look really clean and tidy but it's just because we have so many things going on and so many things like coming in and out and being done at the moment like there's a box of shop disney stuff we still need to do a haul of there's like all this stuff here which i need to like sort out there's various gifting and like things i've ordered and whatever so it's just it's it's a progress a progress a process <laughs> but yeah this is the hair dryer so this is the GHD Helios, which is the professional hairdryer for lighter and faster ultimate styling control. Can I open it with one hand? No. And this is what it looks like. So I went for the white one, like I said. So it's just white with the kind of gold, ever so slightly like coppery tone on it. It's really, really pretty. And it obviously comes with a little attachment as well. But I have used a GHD hairdryer before. I actually gave one to my mum when I went traveling a couple of years ago. And I'm really excited to have another one back because they're so good. Like. They're the best hair dryers I've used and the one I've got at the moment I've had for so long. It's been in my life for like maybe six or seven years and it's just, it's on its last legs. It like fizzes a little bit, it's not the best. So very grateful to have a replacement and obviously I didn't want to ask my mum for the GHD one back so it's probably best I've got my own now but I really like it. I can't wait to try it out for myself. Like obviously my hair was done with um, the hair dryer and like a blow dry brush and stuff but I'm excited to try it for myself and see what I think. So thank you very much to JHD for that and for my blow dry earlier. Really appreciated it. Um, I best go check on this bang bang cauliflower. This is all to go off for eBay. Oh my goodness, there is so much. And this isn't even everything. There's still some bits that I have to post, but basically because it's fragrances and like bits that are breakable, I'm waiting for the boxes to turn up, which I think may have just come before we got home, but I need to basically repackage those and then go back tomorrow. So every day this week, I'm gonna be in the post office, I think, which, they kind of know that we sell a lot of stuff like they know that we just did the office up because we were chatting to the woman and saying like oh like we're trying to combine like stuff and whatever so they know and they laugh whenever we go in because there's always just so much but i'm gonna go drop all that off and then when I, I think we might go food shopping because we need some bits for the rest of the week we have nothing in for dinners or anything so we need to go food shopping and then i think what we're gonna do is maybe film the shop disney video that needs doing and then i'm going to sit and spend the rest of the evening sorting out presets and 
doing editing because there is a lot of videos to edit and I want to get them all up. <laughs> so we're actually heading on the London Eye tonight because they are launching the new... Oh, hello, oh hi there. It's very exciting. I haven't said hello yet. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, as Luke's just found it in. So we're basically jumping on the London Eye. The lastpush.com has just taken over and it's all pink tonight. It's got loads of events and stuff happening. So yeah, we're going to have fun now. get quite emotional, guys. Wait a second. My mama's somewhere in here. It is now Thursday and I haven't really vlogged much this week. I've just realised as I've sat down that there is about seven clips for the entire vlog that I can find. So apologies if so far it has not had much in. If you have seen quite a lot, it's pro I mean, to be honest, this is me. It's probably about 30 minutes long already and I'm panicking about how much is in it. But last night was really, really good fun. So we basically went to the launch of the lastminute.com London Eye. So they have taken over and made the London Eye pink. So obviously... The London Eye has different sponsors all the time. Sometimes it's been like Coca-Cola, Santander, etc. But now it is lastminute.com. So it's all pink and it looks really nice. And we basically had some drinks along the Thames. And we didn't realise that there was actually a surprise guest, which was Megan Trainer. So that was quite cool. And she is unreal live. She was wearing Gucci Disney. So I was very appreciative of her outfit choices. Really, really good fun and really enjoyed it. Sam also really enjoyed it. He's over here. Oh, and also we booked the Disney flights last night. Well, I booked mine last night. Sam booked his the night before so that we could use our separate avios because if you used avios it was like 50 pound or 80 pound discount which is obviously quite a lot when you're spending a lot of money on flights so we booked those which is exciting it means we're definitely actually going we just need to finish paying off like it's by the end of march isn't it we need to finish paying the disney booking but yeah by the end of march so we need to get that paid asap so i think we're going to try and do that within the next like week or so um and yeah really productive day yesterday sarah came over we got loads of little bits done and today I am off to therapy again. So obviously I haven't been since before Venice. So it's been two weeks and I feel like I'm making progress. Like at first I didn't think I was, but now looking back, there's certain things that I think about or things that I like rationalize. And I've realized that I'm kind of picking up the techniques that she's teaching me, which I think is a really good thing because I've only technically had, have I had two or three back? Oh, since you've been, been two. Since I've been back two, isn't it? And then I had three last time. So I've had about two-ish. And I'm really enjoying it. I think I've kind of opened up a bit more to her, which I think is good. And I feel like we're really making progress with different things. So that's really positive. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing her and just chatting through some other bits. And what else is going on today oh yeah and then i'm seeing laura so we're going to a place in london called drink shop do and they basically do like five pound classes so you pay five pound to reserve a table per person and it's a bar but you do like art classes and stuff so they do like random things like there's cupcake ones where you decorate cupcakes stuff like that but we're doing a galentine's one which is nipple tussles which is going to be absolutely hilarious and i'm very excited so we're going to do that and then we're going to head for anando's because i got a voucher last week and have some dinner so yeah quite a lot happening very very excited to have some good dinner and make some nipple tussles <laughs> let's see how much alcohol we end up having and i'll come home with the one being like woo sam i would laugh so much <laughs> i'll just walk up the stairs like <laughs> i had today to do so much and it's half three i have to leave the house at half five because i'm going to that thing the nipple tussle class with Laura I've got a whole Venice vlog to edit I plan to edit like three vlogs I've also just chucked all my Qatar stuff there because where can where Qatar is quite a conservative country I've kind of been really wary of like what I can pack so that's basically just a random collection of clothes that I can take and then I just need to like mix and match like body suits and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff in there um but that's like the general collection so far and 
I am stressing about what to pack. Like I have never stressed so much about what to pack for a trip, but I think it's because like, I know that you have to be really conservative, but I went to Morocco and seemed to be fine with my outfits. I don't really know what happened and why I'm not now, but um, I haven't really sorted shoes and stuff. I'm gonna get up really early tomorrow and do all of that because I'm heading to Shah's tomorrow, but I think I might just like chuck my hair on top of my head and go however, because we're having a day in sorting her Instagram out because she wants to take some snaps and stuff and basically just hang out. So, um, what I might do is just literally throw everything together in the morning, go to hers for the day, and then in the evening when I get back, pack all my stuff into a suitcase, because I'm hoping to get back here tomorrow for like seven, and then I can spend like seven till ten just like packing stuff and getting it, oh, that's so not going to happen, is it? Oh my god, what am I going to do? I need to pack now. Why am I so last minute? To be fair, I'm actually still waiting on parcels turning up for stuff to take. <laughs> um... At what point do you have a meltdown about packing? Because, like, you think I'm having one now. 